Hello everyone, welcome to today's class and our title today is Flight Fright. Now let's move on to language focus. Ilbon. Some people are very afraid of flying even though no, they know full well that it is the safest means of transport. Okay, so no full well. I don't know if Koreans have a, an expression like this. Okay, so use no full well to express that somebody is completely aware uh, if they somehow uh, of something, even if they somehow behave to the contrary. This idiomatic expression uses full, not fully. Even though we know full well that fully would be grammatically correct. Okay, let me just explain it to you in the easiest possible way. Okay, know full well. 대단히 잘 알다. 그래서 부인하거나 무시할 수 없는 뜻이에요. Okay, that's a better way of knowing it. This is confusing. So, an example would be, I know full well that I should eat less, but it's hard. 적게 먹어야 한다는 건 배부르게 잘 알지만 힘들어요. 어렵지, 어, 어, 너무 어려워요. 쉽지 않아요. So, to lose weight, I should eat less, but it's difficult. 다음은, Bill knew full well that his behavior was wrong. Bill은 자신의 행동이 잘못된 uh, 되었다는 것을 잘 알고 있었다. So, when he was drunk, he might have acted in a bad manner. So, therefore, Bill knows that he did the wrong thing. Alright, so to know full well, like I said, 대단히 잘 알다. You know. Alright, moving on to Ibon. If the door plug had hit anybody on the ground, it would have killed them instantly. Would have. Now, you've probably seen this many times. So, we use would have to talk about something that didn't actually happen. So, it didn't actually happen. You will um, often see it with if at the start. And I think "momo handamyon" is probably the closest expression we could use. There's a few different ones as well. I think "hadorado" as "momo otoramyon." If I had known that Manuel was living in Busan, I would have visited him. So, Manuel, Busan, eh, salgo, uh, itanen go, sul, al, aratan, damion. Uh, Manuel, uh, bo, manal, manal go, shita. So, we didn't know, but if we knew, we would have visited him. If Fahad had stayed in school, he would have graduated last month. Fahad uh, 가 학교에 계속 있었다라면 그는 지난 달에 졸업했을 것이다. So he dropped out early, basically. All right, now let's move on to the language focus quiz. Ilbon. I know full well that I should, but I don't. So full well meaning 대단히 잘 알다. Okay, um, I know full well I should, I don't know, eat more vegetables, but I don't. So, 야채를 더 먹어야 한다는 것은 잘 알지만 안 먹어요. 이번, hmm, knew full well that it was a bad idea to, hmm, say, she knew full well that it was a bad idea uh, to drink alcohol the day before her wedding. 그녀는 결혼 전날 술을 마시는 것이 나쁜 생각이라는 것을 잘 알고 있었다. Because the next day she had a hangover. 
3번 If I had known, hmm, I would have, hmm. So, would have, remember, we talked about that. If I had known Manuel was living in Busan, I was, would have visited. So, Manuel이 Busan에 살고 있다는 것을 알, 알았다면 Manuel 만날 uh, 것이다. So, if I had known that, let's say you went to the party, I would have gone. 네가 뭐 파티에 갈줄 알았, 알았으면 갈쓸 거야. Or if hmm had hmm, they would have gotten a lot of trouble. If he had not finished the project on time, they would have gotten a lot of trouble. 만약 그가 제 시간에 그 프로젝트를 끝내지 않았다면 뭐그 팀을 큰 경우에 저 했을 것이다. All right, now let's move on to the further discussion. 일본. Do you think airlines should have stricter safety rules for passengers? If so, what should these be? So, 항공사들이 승객들을 위한 더 엄격한 안전 규칙들을 가져야 한다고 생각하나요? 그렇다면 이것들은 무엇이어야 한다고 생각하나요? I think the the rules at the moment are very strict. Uh, but as you can see by many things on online platforms like social media, people don't listen anyway. Um, it's very important when you're in the air to, to follow the rules because it's a very um, uh, dangerous place to be, to be honest with you. Uh, so they should have... The same rules that they have now, which I think are, are strict enough, to be honest with you. Um, however, it just takes one stupid person to ruin everyone else's day, to be honest. Ibom, were you surprised that a phone was still working in, or still in working order after five kilometer fall? Do you think your phone could survive a fall like this? O kilometer dolijin hue do chonhagi ga yojoni chak. 하는 곳에 놀라웠나요? 어, 여러분의 전화기가 이렇게 돌리진 후에도 어, 살아남을 수 있다고 생각하나요? No, not really. <laughs> um, it just depends on how, like the phone doesn't fall directly down. It would fall with the wind, right? So it might come down like this and instead of going down like this. And it depends on what it lands on. You'd be surprised how much damage a phone can take. Um, so it's not really shocking. I've heard of similar, case, similar cases before. You've heard of people sometimes falling from a very far distance and still how somehow survive the whole situation. Um, but yeah, uh, can my iPhone survive it? Well, so far it hasn't broken. And uh, yeah, hopefully it could survive something like that. But hopefully I'm not put in a situation like that. Anyway, that wraps it up for today's class and I'll see you on the next class. Means. Means. Come loose. Come loose. In place. In place. In working order. In working order. Ground. Ground. Make and model. Make and model.